Hi, welcome to another edition of Azure Everyday from Pragmatic Works. My name is Steve Hughes. I'm the Director of Consulting here at Pragmatic Works. Just wanted to let you know today I'm coming to you from the Greensboro Airport in North Carolina. And today I'd like to continue a series I'm doing on the um, world of databases with Azure. Did a webinar on this that covered this in more detail, but this is just an opportunity for me to talk about each individual item and kind of bring that up to speed on those. So today's topic is Azure Database for PostgreSQL. And the reason I want to talk about that is, and you know, just so you're aware, I talk about three areas, which are purpose, platform, and pennies. So let's walk through those and we'll just uh, give you the highlights of what's going on with PostgreSQL in the Microsoft Azure world. This is actually a viable target for any of your PostgreSQL database workloads. Um, so just keep that in mind. This is, you know, obviously if you want to migrate there, it's a great opportunity to do that um, and bring those workloads to the cloud. We also see a lot of PostgreSQL uh, workloads for around retail and e-commerce solutions, uh, especially built on open source technologies. And it's a great database, has a little more capability than some of the other ones, so it's a great opportunity to do more work. On the platform side of this, oh, one other thing, I don't want to lose sight of this, is that in Postgres, you actually have the ability to target your Oracle migrations as well. So if you have uh, Oracle workloads and you're trying to migrate to Azure and you really don't want to convert to Azure SQL database or to a SQL, uh, you know, SQL server-based solution, Postgres is more compatible with the work in uh, Oracle and makes a more clean migration pattern, something to be aware of. On the platform side, this is a platform as a service technology. Just like Azure SQL database, um, this takes advantage of all the key pieces that are part of the underlying Azure relational database platform. This supports the open source databases and SQL Server as well, and it provides the same level of reliability across all those platforms. So this has built in high availability, um, and it also includes backups as you go along. And it actually, with the Citus purchase that Microsoft made, is will be supporting hyperscale on the platform as well, making it a unique space within all the SQL database platforms with the hyperscale capability. One of the things to be aware of if you work with open source on the Microsoft stack and within Microsoft Azure, uh, Microsoft also provides what's called uh, Azure IP Advantage. And what this is, a, it's a protection solution that allows uh, customers to understand that what happens in open source occasions, lawsuits or patent, patent lawsuits, those kind of things are covered. Microsoft will help you with that. If you want more information, please check the Microsoft site for more information on that. How do we charge for it? Well, it typically comes in three three levels. You typically look at a vCore as your primary pricing model. And so um, it's one of those things where when you're doing vCore pricing, you're gonna actually have um, it in three tiers, from basic to general purpose to memory optimized. So these these uh, have, general purpose will meet most of the needs of what you have for most of the applications, but if you have a scenario where you need memory optimized, it does give the capability of adding more memory and getting you a higher level capability. Hyperscale, which is still in preview based on that site of purchase, is actually really cool because it can allow you to scale out to large databases. I think in terms of um, when we look at some of the Oracle workloads that may come to PostgreSQL in the future, those are where we see this hyperscale coming into play where I need the performance, uh, I need a larger uh, area, to, you know, I need a larger surface area for storage, those kind of things. This will be supported very well within hyperscale and the site is purchase uh, related to that. So if you're interested in that, please check it out. It's still in preview, so we don't even have pricing on it yet. So that's one of the things that, and when it does get priced, it's gonna be priced per node is all we know at the moment. I don't know what the, you know, beyond that, what we're gonna see. When you're looking at um, paying for Postgres, remember that if you're gonna use read replicas, you will have to pay for those replicas and um, advanced threat protection can also is also available as an add-on. So quick review, if you're looking into your PostgreSQL on Azure, you can use a platform as a service technology, that's a platform. It'll handle your Postgres and Oracle workloads, depending on what you're trying to do with that. So there's a great opportunity to look at the purpose of that platform. And then it's vCore purchasing with uh, multiple tiers with hyperscale coming soon. So if you have any other questions about using open source databases, including PostgreSQL or MySQL uh, on Azure, click the link below. We'd be happy to reach out to you and talk to you about that. And uh, thank you for taking the time to listen today. Have a great day.